guys. So how's she going today? So uh, the other, the other, the other plumber, the one that I just called like forever ago, finally showed up, and uh, he snaked our uh, main drain and whatnot and stuff. And he said most of the way it looked pretty good, but uh, there was I think about I don't know about a good two, two or three feet that he couldn't look through because it was underwater because the tank is full. Which I think it's a bunch of bullshit, but whatever. So, but he he's not sure if it's um, just you know like rainwater or, or what, but but he wants us to pump it out in order for him to uh, really uh, look or you know I, I guess to look around and stuff. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. There's so much crap going on. So I'm fucking real. But he was he was only here for. <laughs> Not even like 20 minutes, and he charges 250 bucks. It's like, come on, man! I can't even get anything. No wonder why I can't get nothing fucking done over here. Everything costs too damn much. So he recommends that we have our tank sucked out. Well, not gonna happen. I'm not gonna charge, a, you know, someone 200 dollars to just come suck water. So I'm just gonna go turn around, and go buy me a pump in order to one for like 80 bucks or something, and and. Pump it out myself, because it's, it's ridiculous. How it can be full, I don't know, because it was never filling up over the winter. And it was never filling up the last, you know, the last month or two when it when the spring started happening. So, I'm guessing it's probably most likely just fucking rainwater. Because we've had so much fucking rain here that it's unbelievable. And this guy's going to go out and mow. Oh, damn time. Neighbor here mowed, finished mowing. You can see that he cut it different. So, you know, and the funny thing is that my machines are due for oil changes. I think the John Deere was due this month. Or it was due last month or something like that. And the John and the four oilers due on July. Well, I don't think I'm going to be changing any oils this year because I don't have the fucking money to do it. Because I have to fucking turn around and go buy fucking pumps left and right. I gotta go buy other fucking shit. It just never freaking quits over here. Fucking more off. This more off of smoky. Jesus, what the hell are you fucking doing? It's crazy. So, yeah. I guess I'm going to be running on oil for quite some time. On the same oil from last year for quite some time. Because I don't have all this kind of fucking money to be uh, buying shit all the time. So, then he said that if he has to, um, I don't know what the hell he was talking about. Uh, something that has to do with the main drain line, I guess if it's cracked or something, he has to replace that section. It's going to cost anywhere from a thousand up to, to like fifteen hundred dollars, if not more, to change that section out. Like, for God's sakes, like, I knew that was going to be expensive, but I don't have that kind of money right now to be doing that. So, and and he told me that in a, in a tank like that, there should be a pump down there, a uh, submersible pump of some kind. So, he says that there should be one down there pumping the water out. And some of you guys are going to say, well, that's not code, that, that's illegal to do in some states. Some states, yeah, some states probably don't even give a shit what the hell you do. So, but I have an idea, I think, what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to wait for him to drive by. He's not going to be able to hear me with him roaring away. So, sometime today, please. a little smoky though it was so I think what I'm going to try to do is the pump I'm looking at um, well it's $80 there's, a, there's one for a little bit cheaper but it's made out of plastic and I don't like plastic it's a different kind of plastic so I think the one I was looking at moves about 2200 gallons an hour which is probably overkill for me but It'll seem a little slow, that big tank, because 
well, it's hooked up to a garden hose. You hook your standard um, standard garden hose up on the discharge side um, to pump it out, which is fine with me because I got like a million feet of fucking hoses, so it don't matter to me. So, I think what I was going to try to do is maybe, I don't know if it would work or not, maybe I'll try to pump that water into the overflow tank. So that way I'm not dumping it like on the on the yard. I'm just dumping it, in, it, it into another tank. But I just went and looked at the overflow tank and I could see water standing in that. So no clue how long that'll last before that gets full. So I may just have to dump it onto the yard. There's nothing. There's nothing that I can do, guys. I'm not charging. I'm not paying two hundred fucking dollars to uh, have this tank pumped out. And he says that that he. Back in the 70s, he had put. In, he said that he put a lot of those kind of tanks in the ground. He doesn't remember remember doing this one apparently. So he doesn't know what's at the bottom, but he thinks at the bottom, um, it's just gravel. If it was just gravel, the fucking water would be going through it. So it's concrete. Water water can't pierce concrete on concrete on the, on, on, unless it's got a damn crack in it. So, so I don't know. And, and, and a lot of people on YouTube were telling me too that they have concrete bottoms. I think it depends on who makes them. Back in the day there was probably quite a different 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 companies that were making that same style but they always had their own little twist to it, right? Some would some would use gravel. Some would use concrete. Some would probably just use sand, you know, whatever, you know. And he was saying too that that we have for in this country we have the worst kind of soil because the water can't drain away apparently because the ground's too hard. He says in some states or in some countries they have sandy soil so the water can just piss right through it and not have a problem. So, but that, I think that's why nowadays a lot of when people put new tanks in, they're always putting gravel or something on the like on the underside of the tank so then at least the water can go somewhere. So, I don't know. It was just an on and on and on bullshit story. So, he claims that the tank is filled to the max again. He said that he's surprised that we haven't had gurgling. So, you know, and we've just been living our normal lives for the last, like, all summer long. Because we knew it wasn't filling up. We didn't think it was filling up. <clears throat> so, but he says that if there is a crack in the pipe, um, or if the pipe is broken, he, says, he said that it's got to be... Some are by the, you know, like, closer to the tank. He said the rest of the way it's fine. He said it's perfectly clean. He said there's, there's not even a single tree root in that system, in that main pipe. But he said the last three or four feet, whatever the hell it was, um, he doesn't know because it's underwater. Because the tank is filled up. <clears throat> so. So now it's just kind of a fucking waiting game for everything. So. Yay. I'm still waiting for my YouTube money because um, I got I got over my limit now. You know I was gonna turn around and spend that money <clears throat> on something useful. I was gonna actually probably buy my fogger. Um, now I gotta turn around and go buy a fucking pump because I'm not. It's cheaper for me to pump it out myself than it would be to pay someone two hundred dollars to pump it. And all they're pumping is water. You know, it's not worth. Not worth the two hundred dollars. If it was full of shit, then it would then it would be worth the two hundred dollars. But it's not, and it's just most likely fucking rainwater anyway. So what the hell does it matter? But like I said, I'm gonna try to pump it when I do get the pump. I'll just try to see if I can pump it from the big tank into that little, that that overflow tank. I don't know. That tank's getting full now too. So I might just end up pumping most of it onto the onto the fucking yard again. The ground is just completely fucking so it won't dry out. It keeps fucking raining. It rained yesterday. Didn't do a lot, but we didn't fucking need it. We need to actually go into a fucking drought now. That's the, that's the thing. We need to go into like a two-week drought. You know, I don't mean like 90s, but, you know, at least in the 70s and 80s, no fucking rain and sun. I mean, it. I just mowed. I just mowed like a few days ago, and my grass already looks like it needs it fucking again. Because it rained yesterday, too. Like, it's freaking ridiculous over here. So. But he said that there should be a, 
should be some kind of a pump down there. You know, it, it is recommended in tanks, in certain tanks, especially if you're, if you, if your tank is uphill from your house, then you have to, you know, then you got to pump it all up, uphill. So, and he said that these were, you know, our dry well tanks, and he said they're not really the best kind of tanks to be having, but that's what they put in in the 70s. So, these, these kind of tanks no longer pass code. They're not illegal to have, they're just not recommended anymore. So, no one goes to them anymore. They, they make those tanks now out of plastic, and, and they're, they come in many, many different sizes, you know. So, I ain't upgrading it. It, it, it would be, it'd be tens of thousands to probably replace that son of a bitch, and it ain't worth it. And, and Mother's like, well, why don't we just move up and go find a different house that's got less fucking problems. All these houses were built in the, the, the fucking 1900. Every house is going to have fucking problems. So no matter what house you go to, you're going to have some kind of a fucking problem. So, it ain't going to fucking matter. So, your kind of parents will just stuck spending money on this crap house anyway, because you have to, you just pretty well have to. So I think what I'm going to do, is I'm going to pump it out, when I get the pump. And then I'm going to watch it, see if it fills back up again. And then, if it fills up again... Which I, which I kind of doubt, unless it rains like hell. Um, <clears throat> I'll just, if it keeps filling up throughout the summer, I'm just going to leave the fucking pump down there. I'll just hook a chain to it or something. Uh, a chain that won't rust out so quick. Like, this is a thick chain, so this would last me a little while. It's better than using baling twine or something, you know. So... What the hell is he doing now? He's gonna mow, I guess. <clears throat> but yeah, so... In the wintertime, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I have to keep fucking... I shouldn't have to do this. This, this is what's pissing me off. So, I'm just gonna pump it this one time when I get the fucking pump, and... And there are. So, and I even went and called my other plumber, my main plumber, if I could, I called him to see if I could borrow his pump, um, just to get me by this one time. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> hmm. We've got some more deck issues. We've got some more deck issues. But yeah, I went, I went, and like I said, I went and called him and asked him if I could borrow his pump just one time. And he says, yeah, you can do it, but you got to come and get it. And he's like, well, I live out in the country. And he's like, oh, okay, yeah, I don't know where the hell you live out in the country. So no, that's not going to work either. I have no clue where the hell he lives. I thought he lived right in town. Not in my town, but the town where, where my bank's at, or wherever the hell he's at, you know. But apparently not. He lives out in the fucking country. Well, I have no clue where the hell he lives. <clears throat> So that's not gonna that's not gonna happen either. So spend more money on bullshit again. You know, I mean my I mainly wanted to get my fucking machines done too. Well that's not gonna happen. So I might just end up running the machines on the oil for the rest for, for the rest of this year and change them next year, I guess. I don't wanna have to keep changing dates. <clears throat> I'm changing my oils on a certain date and that's the end of it. If I get past that, then fuck it, you go another damn year on it. So, and the last time I think I looked at Big Red's oil, it wasn't even black anyway, so, who the hell cares? It's not going to hurt it anyway. I think even sometimes you can run, if you don't do a lot of mowing, like, you know, if I just mowed my yard. Um, did you get your debt to work here, buddy? I think so. There you go. But, yeah, um. I forgot where I was going to fucking talk about now. Stupid. Oh, I forgot where I was going with that story. But, uh... Yeah. Well, yeah, I, uh, If I can't change the oils on my machines on a certain date, then they wait till next year. Then I don't want to get off schedule again. My, 
The John Deere, I think, was due last month, and the four wheelers due next month. So, I, I was hoping to change all the oils in July, at least so that way they would be done, but I don't know. So, I don't know. It's, just, it's really frustrating because I, I just can't win, you know, win living at this crap hole. It just, it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Like, I'm trying to get my stuff, you know, fixed and straightened out, and I have to turn around and go spend money on this fucking house. It's really getting fucking old. But he wants the tank pumped out so he can, um, I guess, so we can watch it, and then I don't know if he'll sneak the rest of it or not, but he ain't going to, because he just charged me $250 for just that one little bit, so forget that. I'm not going to call him now until uh, probably next year now. I'm done for this year. I'll just, uh, I'll just keep pumping it out. That's all I can do, boys. I can't help it. If the government don't fucking like it, then they can donate the fucking money and get me, uh, my tank fixed and, or whatever the hell. Or they can pay for the accepted guy to come suck it out every damn two weeks, because I ain't fucking doing it. I ain't got that kind of fucking money. I ain't fucking rich. And you bastards, bastards need to quit fucking thinking that, because I'm not. Oh, just because you got a nice four You know, I bought that fucking thing five years ago when I had the money. I don't have that kind of money anymore. So. I don't have that kind of money anymore. So. It's getting, it's, it's hard, to, it's getting hard to do stuff now. That's what you get for waiting so damn long to mow the damn grass. guy is insane. Cut it like you don't care about it, but But yeah, so that's just going to be the plan, guys. I'm just going to have to get the pump and start pumping it. Um, try to see if I can just do it this one time. I know it's been quite rainy here, you know, so that might have something to do with it. The ground can't dry up because the tank's overflowing, probably. Just can't fucking win, you know. I'm just frustrated about it. It's sickening. And of course, they're calling for more thunderstorms, uh, I think tomorrow or something. Or not tomorrow, or I think Wednesday or something like that. I don't know. It was next week sometime, I think they were calling for more. Like, come on, we've had enough bullshit now. So, the tank is just going to have to continue to overflow. There's not much I can do about it. And once I get the pump, I'll just stick the pump in there and. Pump it out, I guess. Because I'm definitely not paying. I would, I would rather pay, you know, $90 plus probably 10 for shipping instead of paying $200 for some jackass to come suck it out. It's just water. It ain't going to do nothing. Fuck the damn government bullshit. They don't even care anyway. If they cared so much about us not hurting the fucking earth, they'd be donating a lot of money to help us out. But they're not. They keep the money for themselves. So... That's why we do things our way. In this town, we do things our way. It's what, it's what gets us by, and it's what helps us out. So, we don't care. We don't give a shit about the government anyway. The government's all a bunch of bullshit anyway, so. Man, anyway, guys, I guess I'm going to probably take off before I get even more uh, frustrated because I'm sick of it. So, I guess whenever YouTube decides to give me my fucking money, because I kind of need it, because... I don't have the money right now to buy a fucking pump. So, fucking, I'm hoping fucking Monday, I can, hopefully it'll be in there on Monday, and then buy that fucking pump, and then, uh, and then be, uh, fucking, I'll just buy the damn thing and be done with it. So, never know when the basement might go under too, and you might need a pump for that too. So, pumps are never really a waste of money. So, well, what can you do? Anyways, guys, I'm going to take off, so I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.